Spite, what are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to liven this thing up. It's an electric bike, right? It's supposed to be boring, huh? Well, this one's a little different. Let me show you what I mean. Alrighty guys, today's a fun video. It is the first fully electric vehicle we've ever featured on Yami Noob, and this is a pretty sweet one. This is Zero's SRF, their top of the line flagship sport bike. It's been provided to us by the good folks over at Eurocycle. You guys know the deal. They give us these cool rental bikes. We buy motorcycles off of them to give for the giveaway as well. So hit the link down below and check out what they've got available because we've got this demo Zero for quite some time. We're gonna make some cool videos with it. Uh, Spike, this thing's kind of nuts. It's Absolutely. so different. Yeah, it's very different. And I, the, I think the main thing that you know you look at and you're like, where's the engine? Where's the exhaust? Where's all that stuff? Yeah. But there's actually a lot to unpack here specs wise and tech wise because this thing, it's, it's about as futuristic as you can get. Yeah, well, let's do a little deep dive on that. Alrighty guys, I'm sure you're probably dying to know the specs on this motorcycle. So let's take some of the top line specs that you might want to look at if you're thinking about buying a Zero. Obviously, this is a Zero CC. Spite, spite, I'm gonna let you finish real quick, but guys, look, here it is, baby. Hit subscribe, one million subscribers. This goes on the Busa. Let's go, baby, let's go. All right, guys, so interruptions aside, this motorcycle has a Zero CC engine. It's actually not an engine, it's a motor. A uh, big electric motor in the back that's putting down 110 horsepower and 140 foot-pounds of torque. That's like Goldwing numbers. That's almost Rocket 3 numbers. This thing also weighs in at 485 pounds, which is a little chunky for a naked bike, but that all comes down to this big old brick up here, which we'll talk about in a second. This bike costs 19 grand in its base form and $21,000 for the full Zoot version. And for all of that, you get Showa adjustable front fork, big Showa adjustable shock in the back. You get J Juan brakes, which I've never heard of before, but I'm told they work pretty well. And all things considered, this is a very sharp looking motorcycle for the money. Oh God, well, here it comes again. No, no, it's, it's okay, you're safe over there. Uh, okay. What do you say we compare this against a conventional motorcycle? Yeah, let's do it. There's actually a lot to talk about here. All right guys, so we have here the Zero and a conventional gas-powered motorcycle. And once you start taking a look at these two bikes, a lot of things start becoming really clear. Spike, what's the first thing you notice different on this than that? Obviously the first thing you notice is there is no clutch lever here. So because weird. Because there's no clutch, there's no gears, there's no shift lever down here. We've got our gear shifter on the Z and there's nothing on that motorcycle, nope. which is gonna make it really foreign for somebody who's learned to ride on a regular motorcycle to not have anything to do over there. But how about you? What are you clocking on this? Uh, for me, the thing I see most here is just there's about four or five different cables coming off the throttle, and I assume that's gotta be for all the crazy computers and whiz-bangery that's happening whenever it knows it's in slower speeds versus higher speeds versus lean angles versus this and that. The throttle on an electric bike, since it is your super main point of contact, has to be really dialed in. I think early gen electric bikes were really weird because they would just rip off the line, right? Yeah, the mid-range on these bikes used to be very savage, and there yeah. were a ton of videos, video <laughs> compilations even of these motorcycles just ripping power wheelies and looping on you yeah from like uh, not even a stop but like 15 miles an hour because mm -hmm. as we can see here obviously the biggest difference is this gigantic battery and motor combination over here and that's gonna really inform the frame design on this bike too you look at the frame here it looks really different than anything I've ever seen it kind of resembles a Ducati trellis frame but it's really wide it's really long it's really fat and it's all to just cradle this big battery over here um, Spike, you see anything else? Yeah, the biggest, obviously going back to the size of this thing, this is not a compact motorcycle. No. There is so much here, although it is mechanically simple. It's just a battery and a motor. This is a very mechanically complex item, but it's a lot smaller and a lot more compact, mm -hmm. which, you know, as this develops, it'll get a little bit smaller, but yeah. right now, Damn, that's a lot under the trunk. That is a lot. But speaking of trunk, this thing, because it has no gas in it, you actually take the key here, pop it into here, and guess what? Just like your NC700, it's got a frunk right here. You can put some, I don't know, cabbages or maybe groceries, or what would you put in here, Splint? 
I don't know, hopefully the, the hopes and dreams of a Harley boy who can't hear his engine anymore. Maybe. I might fit a turbo for a Hayabusa in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, with all that being said, let's get this thing out on the road. Let's see how it feels. I'm dying to ride it. Alrighty guys, we are out here with the Zero, the SRF. This is a very peculiar motorcycle, but a very cool motorcycle. Um, I think a lot of people think that electrics are not fun or something like that, but I, I mean, I just rode this thing out here and it's, it's a really interesting bike. Um, Spite, I'd love for you to swing a leg over this thing and tell me how you feel. Yeah, absolutely. Because you have, I have ridden this motorcycle, and I'll let you guys know my first impression, but you have actually never ridden this thing before, right? No, I haven't. And the first thing that I notice is that this is very long up here. Yeah. It's a, it's a very long tank frunk situation. Um, and the reach of the bars actually feels longer. Like, I'm at fully extended arms, no bend in my elbows reaching out. It's weird having no clutch, right? And there it goes. It's just ready to rock and roll. Isn't that weird? That is so bizarre. So one thing I was going to ask you, because I noticed this, is slow speeds with it is really funky. Yeah, it might be because the tires are a little low, but it feels really heavy. Yeah, it's not that bad if you just like roll on, but you can give it a real squeeze. Oh, I love hearing that whine though. That's so cool. Isn't that so cool? It's cool. like a spaceship. <laughs> That is so, and I went to go grab the clutch, which yep. isn't there. <laughs> well, nothing to it but to do it. Let's get out on the road and then gather some more important thoughts on it. This is this is research. We're doing d accurate data testing. Absolutely. And I tried to go into gear. There is no gear. And we have to escape the uh, the high school here because the Karens are probably going to come get us. Yep, we're scary motorcyclists. Yeah. God, that is so weird. Oh my God, that's so weird. I gotta remember to use a clutch. <laughs> <laughs> One of the weirdest things about that thing as well is it's always in gear, basically. So you can roll back like you're in neutral on it. You see that? Yeah. You can't like when you're on a bike, you know, if you're, if you got like the rear brake on or I guess, you know, if you're moving it around a shop or something and it's in gear and it won't move, that bike will never do it. It always is kind of free rolling, you know? It's, that's very strange. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see what it feels like leaving the hill because you always have to flutter the clutch a little bit. Yeah, you could just twist. <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> I hear the I hear the whine over the cardo. <laughs> wow, it is so smooth. It's so yeah. smooth. It's butter smooth. I mean, there's nothing moving in it, you know? There's no vibrations whatsoever. You feel literally every crack in the road through it. Yeah. That's like, like I was telling you on the way up here. Remember, I was like, every little imperfection you can feel through the bike. It's nuts. Yeah, it, it's it's so strange. The feedback through the tires is like incredible. How much just how much it communicates with you. It really reminds me. Oh, geez, that thing's a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that wasn't even much. That was just a little roll on. Oh, you didn't go full pin? Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing that here. Yeah. I'm in two minds about that. That was that was both impressive, but not stunning. Like, it didn't floor me with how much speed it picked up. No, definitely not. I think it, you know, if you're used to riding high horsepower bikes, it's not going to feel insane at all, but it is really potent for sure. Yeah, like I was thinking that 140 foot-pounds was going to be like, all right, the wheel's coming up right now. But yeah, no, it's not like that. No, it's it's very predictable. It's fast, but it's not blistering. Yeah. Ooh, that was that was a lot of torque. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's really interesting about it to me is it has so many similarities with the bicycle. You know, we were talking about how uh, you feel every little imperfection in the road through the tires. And, I mean, that reminds me a lot of, like, a, motor, uh, a bicycle with no suspension, right? Where if you're riding a road bike... You feel everything in the road, and the zero is kind of the same. It's weird. Yeah. The the weirdest thing about this is getting on the, well, not the gas, but giving it some throttle, and not hearing a damn thing. Yeah, it's really honestly. satisfying in a very different way. Um, the thing about it that I want to get from you as well is whenever we pull over to a stop, the weirdest thing about it is like 
it doesn't idle and all you do is just you, you just roll and then you just get off and that's it that, that you're not there's no there's no flight sequence you know there's no button flipping and engines turning on and idling and revving there's none of that you, you just simply just go it's like magic yeah, you literally you cannot rev this motorcycle if you wanted to no if you twist that throttle you just go <laughs> but you know what i can feel and it's it's really apparent in this motorcycle is all of the electrical nannies i feel every oh, single yeah. one of them there's so much technology and computer whiz bang on that thing it is just crazy uh and you yeah. really feel it it feels i wouldn't say muted but it doesn't feel raw or analog at all yeah there's there's nothing uh you, you literally you feel on the r1 we talked about how there's this you get this like super big illusion of power and rawness, but you can feel the little plastic film between you and the motorcycle because yeah. of all the nannies. This thing, it feels like the motorcycle is just carrying you, and it's like, okay, you're saying to go, but I'm going to tell you how to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if the R1 had like a 2 millimeter film over it, the Zero has like a 10 millimeter film over it. Yeah. It's, it's really, I don't want to say I'm divorced from the motorcycle because, you know, obviously I'm still running the throttle. I'm still choosing how fast it goes. Yeah. But it feels so uh, separated. Yeah. And I just went for the clutch again, and there is no clutch, and there's no gears. This is so strange. So, yeah, to me, the Zero's predominant kind of difference is the fact that it doesn't have that clutch or that shifter. It's such a ubiquitous part of motorcycling. And, you know, going back on the Z here, I, you know, I rode the Zero up here, and I, I did miss shifting gears. For sure I did. But it's such a different experience on the Zero that I almost, I don't know, like, I almost didn't miss it at the same time. What do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind not having to shift gears. It again, I, I like listening to the thing do its whining and whizzing, and it, it's because it's so unique and so much its own thing. I don't mind not having the gears. I don't mind not having to work and think about where I am. It's super easy. It's really yeah. easy to ride. Yeah, it's dead simple. If it wasn't so damn fast, I'd definitely chuck a beginner on it because all you have to do is know how to balance on two wheels and you can ride that thing. Yeah, here's, here's the part for me that's so weird about electric bikes. Like, you can just pull up there, no clutch in, and just step off of it because you're done. Yep, it's just, it's just <laughs> done. I, I don't have to do anything. I, you, it's so weird. You have to have the kill switch to disengage the throttle, but other than that, it's just ready to go. What a, what a strange motorcycle. You could even keep this engaged and then it just won't do anything when you... Yeah, you just need to be careful to not hit the throttle. Yeah. I will say though, you know, for me, some of the experience on this bike is I definitely feel the weight of it, you know? There's yes. no getting around it. It's a pretty heavy bike. It weighs 490, 485, something like that, right? 45. Oh, I cannot believe how smooth it is. That is the, the most Jesus peculiar Christ. thing in the world, is how smooth it is. I mean, it pulls away like it's literally a magic carpet. It's unbelievable. Again, one moving part, right? You can't really argue with that. And you know, if you were just a normie looking at, at, at that bike, you wouldn't immediately think electric bike. It looks like a normal motorcycle. Yeah. You know, it doesn't it, look like some wonky, crazy electric bike. It just straight up looks like a just like a cool sport bike, basically. Yeah, and you need to like actually look and be like, wait a minute, there's no exhaust, there's no sound coming from it. Oh, it must be electric. Yeah, I hadn't even noticed that it didn't have an exhaust. I <laughs> I just assumed that it had an exhaust somewhere, maybe under the the tail or something. <laughs> But I will say, you know, when you're when you're not shifting or going slow speeds, this feels like sort of being on a fast naked bike and you're just stuck in third gear and you're just kind of getting after the corners and you're having some fun with it because the dynamics are the same. You know, the dynamics are the same of any other motorcycle. It's on two wheels and it'll go down the road. So I don't know. It's it's cool. Like I'd still get the motorcycling thing from it. Yeah, you're getting the whole experience of being on two wheels. You're just, you're making it easier for yourself. Yeah. Let's show that acceleration, shall we? Yeah. You ready? Yep. Okay. 
three, two, one. <laughs> Just instantly walked away. Yeah, it's it's power on tap, and that's the big difference. Is like holy crap! You don't have to shift down. You don't have, all you do is just twist, and it just goes. Mm hmm. That 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 motor can just spin so quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me the main takeaway of riding an electric bike is, I mean, I didn't think the experience would be so different, but it is so different. Yeah. It, it really, really is. It's so smooth. It's so quiet. It's so uh, zen almost. Alrighty, Spike. Well, this thing is really, really weird and different. What do you say we wrap this one up for today? Sounds good to me. Alrighty, guys. We hope you enjoyed this first look at the Zero SRF we have in the shop. We're going to make a lot of cool videos with this. It's the first electric bike we've had in the shop. Spike, what's your big takeaway from it? It's... It's the most unique riding experience I've had in a long time. You know, yeah. this has been a, a year of firsts for me on the channel, but this is like the most unique thing that I've ridden in a long, long time because it's just so smooth. Yeah, the lack of moving components. I mean, Jesus, it feels like a magic carpet, you it, know, like it, it's crazy. It really does. It's buttery smooth. You feel like you're, you know, you got your head out sticking out the window yeah. uh, of your car going down the highway because you don't feel you don't feel any engine vibration, you don't mm -hmm. hear the engine, you just it's just wind noise. Yeah. And for simplicity's sake, I mean this bike for me, you know, lack of clutch, lack of shifter. If it wasn't so damn fast, I feel like anybody could ride this thing. So if Zero's got some more low power versions or maybe some supermotos or dual sport bikes that people can just get on, twist and go, if you know how to ride a bicycle, you could probably ride this thing, even though it's really heavy at 490 pounds-ish. I almost said wet and ready to ride, but there's no liquids in it. Technically there are, there is brake fluid. That is true, there's brake fluid and I think, does the battery for the lithium ion have any kind of liquids or? I'm not sure, I, I don't, I don't know, know enough about stars to argue. I, I don't know either, yeah. But <laughs> um, it's a really, really unique machine. I'm really excited to have it uh, for a little bit. Thanks again to Eurocycles for giving us this demo bike for a little bit. And tune in tomorrow where we're gonna do a deep dive comparison against this versus a traditional gas powered motorcycle. We got the MT-09 we're giving away, we're gonna pit up against this thing. I think it's gonna be a blast. That's gonna be a really edifying video. I'm really excited to see them back to back. Yeah. One thing I will say, I don't think this can pop nooners quite as good as the MT-09 can. I don't think anything can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Well, Spike, this thing looks pretty cool. What do we say? No, nope. what do oh. I say? What do you say? Who says it? No, let's try it again. <laughs> Excuse me, hold on a sec. Well, Spike, this oh, thing Oh God, looks... here he comes again. No, 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 don't worry about it. It's over there. You're safe. <laughs> um, let's compare this thing against a real motorcycle. Let's do it. Well, I say real, but this is a real bike, right? Yes, that's all real bike is right there. Is it a there. real bike? Where is this going? This is a terrible take. Let's try it again. <laughs> hey there, partner. You done made it to the end of this here Yammy New video, but I tell you what, there's another Yammy New video right over here waiting for you. Now, I know I'm real gracious like that, and I just do nice things for you. So why don't you take a look at this video, and you let me know what you think.